This is part one of the uncertainty and confidence lesson. In this part, we talk about uncertainty in future climate change projections. The main sources of uncertainty are the future greenhouse gas concentrations, the climate sensitivity, and the model limitations. Future greenhouse gas concentrations are uncertain for a number of reasons. The main reason is that we don't know how much greenhouse gases will be emitted in the future. This will depend on how we do develop. Do we develop fast and sustainable, or slow and unsustainable? And what will be the human population? Is there rapid population change, or is there a slowdown? And how much energy will we use, but especially what kind of energy? Will we quickly change to renewables or keep on using fossil fuels? Also, land use change has a big impact on greenhouse gas emissions. Large scale forestation or deforestation will have an impact on the future greenhouse gas emissions. In addition, there's uncertainty in the feedback in the global carbon cycle. Large parts of the CO2 that we emit into the atmosphere is absorbed by the oceans. It is unclear if and how this will continue in the future. Also, natural ecosystems take up significant amounts of CO2. How changes in CO2 concentration affect carbon fixation is still very unclear. To cover the uncertainty in future greenhouse gas concentrations, we use RCPs. RCP stands for Representative Concentration Pathway. The RCPs aim to capture different future trends in future greenhouse gas emissions. The four RCPs range from very high to very low. This table shows the total CO2 emissions between 2012 and 2100. In both gigatons of carbon and gigatons of CO2. In this table you can see that there is a large difference in emissions between RCP 2.6 and 8.5. Under RCP 8.5 we emit almost six times as much CO2 compared to RCP 2.6. This figure shows future CO2, methane and nitrous oxide emissions and concentrations. In the top graph you see the emissions and on the bottom the concentrations. On the left bottom you can see the future CO2 concentrations under the different RCPs. The blue line shows the RCP 8.5 and CO2 concentrations will in the future be more than 900 parts per million under this RCP. On RCP 2.6 the future CO2 concentration will be about 400 parts per million similar to the concentration today. This shows how hard it is to achieve RCP 2.6. Another source of uncertainty is the climate sensitivity. Climate sensitivity can be defined as the temperature change in response to changes of radiative forcings, for example as a result of increased CO2 concentration. This graph shows the uncertainty in future climate sensitivity. This graph shows the future temperatures on the RCP 2.6, the blue line and range, and RCP 8.5, the red line and range. The dark lines show the average, while the shaded part shows the range. In this figure you can see there's a large range in future CO2 concentrations caused by different climate sensitivity of the different models. Another source of uncertainty is caused by limitations in the model. The main model limitations are incomplete understanding of the climate system, the large grid boxes that are used to simulate the climate due to computational limitations, and the limit data that is available to validate the models. There is especially limited data available for the oceans, while the oceans play an important role in our future climate. 
the warming of the ocean determined for a significant amount the warming of the globe. So how do we quantify these uncertainties? Future greenhouse gas emissions we quantify by using a scenario approach, for example RCPs. Climate sensitivities and model limitations are studied by using different climate models. A global climate model is a model which is able to simulate the climate on a century timescale. The uncertainty is then quantified by using different model runs of the same model or by comparing different climate models. 